So right now, we're on top of a building known as Nine. It's an observatory point for the Ukrainian military that overlooks the rebel separatist held areas. But I'm crouching because apparently this place takes sniper fire quite often. Ongoing tension with Russia remains at the top of the agenda for NATO leaders after last week's summit in Warsaw. The gathering of leaders concluded with renewed NATO support for Ukrainian forces, who are actively fighting Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine. NATO has also committed to a high readiness brigade along the border with Eastern Europe and Russia. But on the ground, a forgotten conflict rages on, even though a ceasefire agreement, known as the Minsk Protocol, still stands. Ceasefire violations occur on a daily basis. All parties must fully implement the Minsk agreements. NATO still says the agreement is the best path forward, but casualties in the region are increasing. Amid the recent spike in violence, Vice News traveled to Avdiivka, where Ukrainian military and civilians say they've lost faith in the so-called ceasefire and remain trapped in a brutal war. Hmm? It starts. It's every day, uh, approximately at five. Why five o'clock? It depends on the uh, working time of uh, OSC uh, special monitoring mission. When they leave the Avdiivka, when no one conduct the monitoring here, they start the shelling. When they leave Avdiivka, the show starts. <laughs> no, you see now? Now you can hear the Minsk peace agreement. Mortal. That was mortar. So this has been happening every single day since 2014 when this war began. Ну было успокоилось, вот с начала этого года опять началось. Она не прекращалась никогда, но когда-то интенсивнее, когда-то спокойнее. Сейчас вот, как вы видите, каждый день одно и то же. With ceasefire violations reaching up to 400 per day. Civilians still living along the contact line have given up hope and diplomacy. They no longer see attacks as mere violations, but rather a full-scale war. Война не закончилась. Нет. Есть договоренности в Минске, о которых говорят все, а эффекта никакого. Мы слышим выстрел в мою. Ночью практически спать невозможно. Кто там виноват? Политика виновата. Все.